Stay there. That's it. on a summit? I'm going to discuss with the president. How are you feeling? Great. Had a very good uh, time in Moscow. Good, week, good meeting. Mr. President, is this a no-win proposal for the West? I mean, if the Soviets give up their advantage in short-range missiles, they still have an advantage in conventional, don't they? We may have to talk about that. Okay. Yeah, dog, yeah, one frame, yeah. the dog we'll moved in there. Yeah, there's a brewer. Yeah. Guys, guys, stay there. Give me a shot. Oh. Dark. Dark, let's go. Come on. Okay. Guys, I guess my guess. Low on terror. They're going to be what? They're walking around there. No mop. No mop. Open the mop, son. Mm. I have a statement here. I have just received a full report from Secretary Schultz on his talks in Moscow and his consultations with our allies. And George, as usual, put forward our positions in Moscow with firmness and great skill. It's clear to me that the visit was very useful in advancing the dialogue between our countries in a number of areas, human rights, bilateral relations, regional issues, and arms reductions. The contacts the secretary had with divided families, church groups, private individuals paid public tribute to the courage of those in the Soviet Union struggling for human rights. He made clear to the Soviet leaders that self-determination for Afghanistan and Soviet troop withdrawal were essential to peace. Important progress was made in arms reductions on intermediate range nuclear missiles. We've narrowed the gaps a little more. After we consult further with our allies, we may have new ideas to offer. I remain optimistic about an agreement this year. There was movement on nuclear testing talks and on a ban on chemical weapons. On strategic defensive reductions and defense in space, the talks were detailed and useful and will intensify. When I return to Washington, I will meet with the bipartisan congressional leadership to review this week's progress. It's my hope that the process now underway continues to move forward and that Mr. Gorbachev and I can complete an historic agreement on East-West relations at a summit meeting. And in that connection, I will consult personally with our NATO allies on further negotiations and plans. And again, I'm deeply grateful to the Secretary. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President, has Gorbachev boxed in the alliance uh, with his position on shorter range missiles at this point? Would you like to answer that one? I don't think. Uh, I, I don't feel say boxed so at in. all. I think that uh, we had a very good meeting in Brussels this morning, and reviewed the whole process. And I think the opportunities before us, and we'll we have different alternative ways to go, are all very positive. Well, did the NATO leaders indicate to you that they're prepared to give up not only the medium range option but also the, the uh, shorter range option at the well, we're discussing that, and they're taking counsel, and uh, we will come to a view. Is it fair to say there's disagreement at this point, Mr. Secretary? No, it isn't fair to say that. It's fair to say that people are considering an important offer that the Soviets put on the table when I was in Moscow. But we don't just react to this. Mr. Like Mr. President, there was, there was not much progress on start. Do you Are you reconciled that there will not be time in your presidency to negotiate a cutback in strategic missiles? No, I'm not reconciled with that at all. We feel we take that very seriously, and we intend to keep on that path also. Are you eager to see a summit this year, Mr. President, regardless of whether you've got an agreement in hand on INF? I think 
it, I look forward to it and hopeful that we can have a summit, but it must be one that is carefully planned and prepared, and that there must be uh, something that we feel we can accomplish. An arms agreement, does it have to be on the table at that point? There has to be some substantial agreements that would make it worthwhile having a summit. What Mr. President, were you security? suggesting a moment ago that there will not be another summit unless there is virtual agreement on some kind of arms control accord? No, I'm saying that it must be carefully prepared and that we should have a prospect there of being able to uh, arrive at some very uh, substantial agreements. Mr. President, what about embassy security? Was there any progress, any change? That is also well, one thing was clear when I was there, that the advanced teams and the communications people did a terrific job. The old can-do American spirit came out, and they provided me, I've been to Moscow quite a few times, with the best communication setup, the best set of meeting, confidential meeting places that I have had the experience of using. So our guys came through. Well, I think we've all been here enough. And George has to get back down the mountain. George, thank you. Good, and thank you. Gosh, Mr. President, isn't this something? Thank you. 